Well, this is a practical space, but it's not really inviting. To me, it looks more like a car park than an entertaining area. But the good news is, I reckon in one day, I can turn it into a real outdoor destination. And with any luck, might even be having a party here tonight. Now, as far as posts go, primed pine is the Rolls Royce. It's nice and smooth, painted up, it looks a million bucks. It's also straight and free of defects like knots and bows. Now, this foliage here is a Dracaena. A few of these branches are breaking out where my boards are going to go. So I can easily take cuttings, remove the whole branch, and where I cut it off, it will reshoot just like this here, creating new plants and thicker foliage to screen off this area even more from the neighbours. And this little guy, all I've got to do is stick it in the ground somewhere else in the garden, and I guarantee you, it'll grow. Because we're running the screen up the wall and along the ceiling, we have a few extra beams to stop the job sagging. Right, time to put some boards up. It's important you get your first course level and then work off it with spacers to go up the wall. Now we're using treated pine. It's light and it's cheap, but it looks a million bucks when you put a coat of stain on it. Thanks, Dan. I might leave you and Stu to do the rest of the boards. I'm gonna play with some plants. So to bring that very high ceiling down and make it more interesting, I'm gonna put up some hanging baskets. I'm gonna dress them up, give them a nice uniform look. All I need to do is put some drainage holes in it. A little pop filter like this will stop any soil or potty mix dripping on your guests. Voila! And it's only going to look better the more this drapes down. Now we're going to put them in a line, all at different heights, creating another point of interest. But to jazz up the floor, We've gone for different heights just to create a little bit of interest. And if you look at the plants, there's a subtle overtones of whites and greys. That means they can handle a bit of heat and nine times out of ten, a bit of stress when it comes to drought. And that's what you want in pots. We've got variegated lyrio, a little short version of mother-in-law's tongue and a cute little euphorbia called diamond frost. And we're done. What a difference. This used to look like a carport. Now it looks like a very stylish spot. The timber screens on the ceiling and the wall have made all the difference. And then all the greys we've used have made this a really sophisticated space. So no car space anymore, just a place to really relax and enjoy the company of your friends.